Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your 1010 Portal Tarot Reading 1010-2021 is a seven and sevens are all about realizing potential and the growth and the change that's needed for growth. So let's get right into your reading and see what this portal is awakening you to, the potential that is unseen. Show us Sagittarius. Okay, so you have 417 hertz, change, cleanse, traumatic experiences. Okay, so with this Sagittarius, you are realizing through this 1010 portal, all the residual emotional baggage, trauma, wounds that exists within you. And there's a calling from your soul. It's time to heal. It's time to release because all those wounds and pain that still exist within you are attached to lessons that you've already learned. So the experiences, the pain, the trauma, it's time for all of that to be cleansed and released and listening to different meditation music at um, 417 Hertz will be very therapeutic to this process because it's time for you to awaken to the potential of your dreams, of yourself. Sagittarius, it's time for healing. And through this 1010 portal, you're going to realize certain things. You're like, man, this thinking is so tired and outdated. I'm done with these thoughts or I'm tired of feeling this pain in my heart. I'm moving on. I'm moving it's so far away from this like it's just a very natural process within you where you're ready to let go and release and move into a new experience and realize your dreams so let's pull some tarot and go deeper and things that fell away they're going to be replaced by new things, Sagittarius. Okay, so the Two of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. and justice yeah big karmic balance happening for you guys and right now mercury is retrograde in the sign of libra that is the card that represents libra karmic balance especially in relationships so sagittarius this pain in your heart these wounds and this is from relationships in your life with this Two of Cups. And it, it's time for a new experience for you with this Ace of Pentacles. And you have balanced your karma. You've learned your lessons. So it's time for a lot of positive movement in relationships, um, potential in friendships, in romances to be realized. Okay, those of you in... Um, you know, who are married or in these long-term commitments, this is the awakening of dreams for you and your partner, a potential that you never saw before. And, you know, everybody's going through this 1010 portal, so they're receiving their own awakening as well, okay? And my single Sagittarius is out there. It's time for a deep cleansing so that new love can come in, a strong, solid love that has long-term potential for you guys even marriage is on the table those of you where this is more around like friendships it's time for a shifting of really bad relationships to leave your life and all the pain and trauma associated with it because it's time for very solid and balanced and fair relationships to be the main staple in your life Sagittarius because with this I know that you have balanced karma Okay, and it's time 
for you to feel safe, solid, and secure. And, you know, again, the meditations will help with that, this process. This is all very natural, organic, but this is how you can speed it along for you. Um, and, you know, certain connections that you've been putting up with because um, their family or you have a long history or you feel obligated all of that's changing inside of you Sagittarius if you don't see any real potential in relationships in situations you are going to disconnect your energy it's just gonna be seen for what it is an energy drain and you don't have time for that it's time for happiness it's time to feel solid stable and secure in your relationships so let me uh, shuffle the tea leaves here and we will um, go deeper into each one of these tarot cards All right, and this is pretty thick uh, deck, so we will split it into threes for each card. Okay, so on this Two of Cups, show us more, Spirit. What is in store for Sagittarius? You know, and also Sagittarius, I'm feeling... Um, some of you who didn't see potential, romantic potential in somebody prior to this portal, it's like you're going to have new eyes looking upon them because all of these wounds are cleared out. So you're not blinded or distorted anymore. The Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. table hard work ahead and chair empty someone is leaving your life yeah see there is <clears throat> this can represent one or multiple relationships for you and here it is you're starting to see this person for what they truly are they're uncooperative, they're uncompromising, they're stubborn, they're aggressive, they're petty, they throw tantrums. And to maintain this relationship is nothing but hard work. And you are coming in the full realization of that, Sagittarius. So you are walking away, all right? You are going to leave them um, behind because you realize there is no potential, there is no more growth in this connection. It's nothing but fruitile hard work and it's just it's not worth it to you any longer and you're going to feel so relieved when you walk away from this person or these people. So let's see this new uh, solid energy <clears throat> that's coming in with this uh, uh, I was going to say page of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Frying pan, trouble, accusations, teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex, and unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. All right, so there is um, another person in your life <clears throat> that's really going to help you see and understand who needs to go and with this trouble and accusations there is somebody in your midst Sagittarius who is gossipy who is drama who doesn't have anybody's back like they play both ends against the middle that's the kind of person this female or male is okay they they're just not honest they're not true and I do feel that you care about them you have a history with them so you've tried to preserve the relationship, you've tried to understand, but they've caused you a lot of heartache and pain. And this person being in your life, it prevents you from the full healing and releasing of other emotional traumas that you've experienced. And so there's somebody in your life that's gonna have a heart to heart with you um, and just tell you like, no, this person is bad. And they may have been trying to tell you prior to this portal, but 
this portal is just opening you up it's awakening you it's opening your eyes to all the energies around you okay and here it says use your intuition you're going to know that this person is giving you real solid true advice and you're going to know who's gossiping and just trying to stir up trouble and cause drama and the the drama traumas they need to get out of your world you don't got time for that anymore Sagittarius like I said you've balanced your karma some of these are karmic connections and they have served their purpose you've gained your lessons at the soul your energy is clean and clear so it's time for those people to exit your journey your experience and really solid people to come in or solid relationships to become even stronger so let's pull some cards on this justice Clouds, temporary problems. Yep, see, they're gone, Sag. They're gone. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. They are gone. You've balanced your karma. And flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Okay, yeah, see, all of that's over with now, Sagittarius. These are sitting on the justice, the troubles, okay, the enemies. The disappointment and somebody close to you, you've overcome the lessons attached with those people as well as the karmic energies that you needed to balance in your life. You're done with these experiences, okay? Doesn't mean that you're never going to have trouble in a relationship in the future, but for now, it's supposed to be smooth sailing you've done the work it's time for healing and growth and expansion and you realizing the potential in yourself and others seeing things that you didn't see before and loving yourself and knowing your worth and knowing your value and you have no obligation to these drama queens that are just constantly gossiping and making you doubt yourself and it's almost like um, for some of you, it's hard to pinpoint or specifically say, yes, this person is being shady or negative or whatever, because they're very clever in the way they word things. But you know what you know, okay? Your intuition is telling you who's enemy and who's not. And it's, it's time. Even if this is like somebody romantic, a romantic interest that you're all about, if it's your intuition is telling you this person is just shady, they're fake, they're phony, you need to listen to that because you're feeling that strong around negative people because you don't deserve those experiences. You're not in energetic alignment to those experiences. You are an energetic alignment to love, to support, um, to somebody really being there and having your back. Okay, so let's pull some more tarot. King of Wands, Five of Cups, The Magician, and Page of Swords. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here you are, King of Wands, whether you're male or female, okay? And here's this person around you that just brings you down, brings you sadness. There's a lot of trickery, and they're gossipy. Or when you are fighting, like they just say really low blow things. They're very petty. They're mean. They're childish. And you, this 1010 portal, you're not going to be able to not see it anymore. Okay? And if you really care about this person, you've known him forever, whatever the case may be, it's just going to be glaringly obvious to you that they're, they're fake, they're phony, they're no good. 
they're all about themselves. They only bring you down. They only make you sad. They only, um, you know, talk bad on your name, on who you are. They judge you. And you don't deserve that, Sagittarius. These wounds inside of you is the only thing that has kept you tolerating this behavior from this person or from a few people in your life. And now through this 1010 portal, your the karma is balanced. You know, the Mercury retrogrades going on through Libra, your karma is balanced and you're awakening to you and what needs to change in your life and that you're better than XYZ and you deserve better than XYZ. And you're going to have the mental, emotional and spiritual strength to say what you've got to say and distance yourself from certain people. All right. And there's another person in your life that's going to have a heart to heart with you and it's going to be real and straight and true and tell you the truth about um, you know, somebody in your life, if you don't already know it, they'll just be confirming your intuition though. And you need to trust that spirit's trying to have your back and look out for you and say, you deserve true blue Sagittarius because you're true blue. Don't settle for anything less than that. Cause you don't deserve that. Your karma's balanced. You're good. You're clean. It's time for people you can count on people that have your back. And as soon as you turn around, aren't running their mouth about you. You don't deserve that. They're just jealous they are insecure you know i will say this <clears throat> i was just on a trip um a big family friend trip and there was this girl um she was a girlfriend of one of the family members gorgeous girl beautiful in every single way except for what's inside of her she just was negative and snarly towards the other girls in the group and i have to say out of all the females that were there she was probably the prettiest one yet she was acting that way towards these other girls and one of the other girls she was being so just uh towards was so beautiful to her. It was like, oh my gosh, you're so gorgeous. I love your eyes. You could be a model, all of these things. And that girl was so nasty. Oh, I just, oh. And the, the girl she was being nasty to the whole time was like, oh, she's just so beautiful. She's just such a lovely person being the sweetest thing on the planet, you know, and we all knew that this girl is just a total snake in the grass. We're like, you know, don't give all your sugar and sweetness to somebody who doesn't deserve it because she doesn't. The only thing that's pretty about her is her face. And <clears throat> Sagittarius, don't, don't think yourself less because of anybody else, okay? The, the girl that um, the pretty girl was being really negative too. Like she's a cute girl or whatever, but her personality is she is just out there. She is a free spirit. She will talk to anybody. She is friendly with anybody. She's a total sweetheart. She's a Taurus. All right. They love everybody. And she's a beautiful soul, you know, and she had no insecurities up against this gorgeous girl. She was appreciating it in all of like every aspect and just being a beautiful human. And this girl that apparently has the advantage by being more attractive is so insecure that she can't help but hate on all these other girls. Like it was just, I don't know. It just feels relevant for what you guys are going through. Don't doubt yourself because somebody's looking down on you. They're insecure and they're jealous of what you got going on, Sagittarius. All right, let's pull one final message. Let the haters hate and you remain great, all right? You just keep rising and shining and pissing them off more. All right, sacred space with the dragonfly. Take time <clears throat> for the dreamer in you. Find your power in stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. Yes, you are magical. You are a dragonfly. Let nobody steal your shine. Let nobody make you second guess yourself. Those people need to go, Sagittarius. They are not worthy of your beauty, of your light, just like the story I shared with you. All right, so those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.